Welcome to Whispering Pines Farms YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Johnson, and in this video, I'm going to be skirting a fleece from one of the ewes in our flock that will then be going into my 2024 fleece auction. So this fleece is from our Janet. She's a two-year-old ewe, extremely sweet, very affectionate, always comes up to me first in the morning for attention. Wasn't always like that. She's kind of evolved. She is out of Carrie, who is a gray cat mug at you that had lambs this year. Um, so her sister is the one that actually didn't make it. Had kind of a really stressful birth. So that was kind of a bummer. But Janet is just <laughs> so affectionate. Janet was actually really small when she was born too, just like Carrie's girls from this year. But she has caught up nicely. And like I said, it's turned into a really affectionate, sweet little thing. Now I'm just going to get right into skirting this fleece. I've said this before. Well, I've said a lot of things before because we're getting to like, this is video like 47, I think. <laughs> my skirting, so a lot of repetition here. But um, rude, vid or rude videos, rude fleeces don't really require a lot of skirting. Um, Mainly because I skirt as I go, but sometimes I get a little zealous and threw off extra stuff and think, ah, I'll check it later. So that's probably what happened here because I just took off a good amount. So the skirtings, because I skirt aggressively for these hand spinner fleeces, I keep the skirtings and I use them to make a milk processed comb top. And I've already sent all that in to the mill because I wanted to make sure I get comb top in time for the Rhinebeck Fiber Festival where I have a vendor booth at. So it's always, I always like to have the comb top there. I have a little bit of comb top left from last year and I've got it listed on the website. So you can go check that out and get an idea of my prices and stuff. All right, so I think that's pretty, pretty ready to go. Uh, so I said this, that I rude Janet. She had a really easy break. She was really easy to rue. And ruing is where there's a break in the fleece, comes in the spring, and there have a, somehow the protein sort of shorts the fleece creation, and there's this really nice break. If she was living in the wild, that would have just fallen off. But it's just really a cool feature of these primitive breeds that I can harvest the fleece that way rather than shearing. And all of my sheep are coated, all my ewes are coated, and I start coating in the autumn. So they're not coated in the summer heat. There's a few, they get caught in a couple rainstorms in the summer, so their fleeces are pretty clean. When we put the coats on, they may have a little bit of dirt, but the coats are really about keeping the hay off the fleeces because that's very difficult to get out if there's a lot of hay. And then we're gonna take an open fleece shot just to get a sense of the character. You can see some nice crimp there. And we're gonna grab a sample. Fifth rib, it's pretty much right in the center of this one half fleece. When I rue them, I rue them one half at a time. So they're only in the stand for a little bit each session. Because it takes, well it depends. I don't, Janet probably didn't take that long, but it could take 40 minutes if it's a big U and it's not, you know, it's not coming off really easy. So Janet's got almost four inch staple length, depending on where you put the ruler, three and a half. She's just so great. Such a good girl. So I'm gonna say three and a half on the listing. it over and get a photograph of the bag. So how would I process this fleece? I would flick it in a second. Oh my goodness. 
This one's really standing out. Why is it standing out? I love the crimp. I love the feel of it. So you can have micron tests all up, you know, like crazy. But how does it feel? I like her density. She's not crazy dense that it's going to take ages, you know, three or four cycles to wash it. Plus that I'm a little partial because she's such a sweetheart. All right, back of the fleece. So you got some nice darker color sh shade here. Those are probably from the same body part. I'm just not real good at laying out fleeces that have been rude. It's really hard for me to <laughs> figure it out. So also, I've said this before, rude fleeces look bigger when they're spread out like this. Um, go by the weight, the ounces that I have on the listing. So that is Janet. I think we've got everything we need for her. I think I've shared everything I wanted to share. So she's certainly going in the auction. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you can come back soon.